Okay. In listening and speaking one, we have prepared a kind of different methodology from the other subjects you are taking. So the purpose of this brief presentation is to explain a little bit about them. In listening and speaking, you have to attend the tutorials at each university center. And for this purpose, please contact your coordinator. It is important to use the printed materials you have received as the fundamental tools to study this subject, which was the North Star One book. Why did we plan these tutorials at each university center? Because this subject does not have a test as in the other ones. So me, as a principal teacher, is the person that organizes this part, but in a general way, the academic situation. But you will have some teachers at each city which are going to start to be in contact with you because listening and speaking are those skills that not necessarily can be learned through a book. They need the company of a teacher. So we have learned and prepared this information by taking into consideration the different needs that you might have at distance students. So the tutorials that you have to attend at each center are of 48 hours during 24 for the each term. For example, in the first term, maybe on Saturdays or depending on your center, you need to attend 24 for the first one and 24 for the second term. And these tutorials are, are not optional. They are mandatory, which means that you need to go to your center and contact your coordinator in order to start attending them immediately because the total score of this subject will depend on the EVA distance assignment and also on your participation to these tutorials. Remember that for listening and speaking, you don't need to take a test. We included with the other subjects on, on those on-site subjects where teachers from LOHA travel to your center. This is kind of different. Here, the teacher that is in charge of working with you in your centers is the person that organizes these scores and gets the information he or she needs. And then with the final scores, this person might have, he or she sends it to us and we are the people that at the end classifies this information and it appears for you onto the system. EVA is an important tool we are using in order to emphasize these two skills, which are listening and speaking, because here you can find different announcements which will help you to clear any doubt you might have during each term. And especially you will have some YouTube videos that are mandatory. You need to record them. On YouTube, you have the options of recording them. And then the teacher is going to try to use a rubric to classify the information you have included them. And a score is assigned for this activity. So it is important to try to set a purpose for listening because if you don't do that, it would be kind of difficult to improve this skill. So to sharpen your listening skills, you need to set a purpose for listening. Purpose is like an aim, like, a, like an objective you might have to know the guidelines or the objective you might have at the end of each one of the activities. If you have any problem, you can contact me as your teacher and play the audios twice if it is necessary. Remember, you are trying to practice listening, so it means that you are not going to be alone. You can repeat the audios as many times as you need, but it is important to control the times uh, in addition to what you are doing, because if you are trying to play the audios 20 or 30 times, it is not the same, because at the end, when you are in a free environment, in a real world, you won't have the opportunity to repeat what the speaker said. So try to set a purpose for your listening activities, and I'm sure you will improve a lot. And for listening for details, you can elicit the difference between main ideas and details. How can you classify them? Remember that details are those ones that support main ideas of a listening. For example, 
A main idea is that the students travel in groups and a detail might be the number of students in each group. So regarding generalities or specific situations, you can start by identifying main ideas or you can also try to write your own examples to support with details to support your main ideas and to make your paragraphs, your conversations a little bit interesting for the for the listener or for the other speakers. And to make inferences, that is another part of listening or speaking, you must determine the correct answers based on information from the conversations. It means that you don't need just to try to guess. You have to base your information on the explanations, on the examples that the other person gave. So it would be a good idea if you try to make these inferences by determining correct or incorrect answers. And please don't, don't need to be too specific when hearing your answers, but please determine the answers based on what the speakers say. It is important because at the end of your English major, you need to be prepared to speak, to transmit a message for an oral presentation on the thesis that you are gonna present at the end of your major. That is why I have included this listening and, and directions that you can follow. It is a good comprehension practice because it encourages you to focus on listening sections while following the instructions. You can use different tools, for example, YouTube, which is now a very common alternative that people that is learning English usually use. For example, there you can find songs, videos from your favorite singers, you can watch movies and many, many other things. And you can also record your videos of the two topics you have on the distance evaluations and try to practice them into conversations or try to create something that will help you is the internet. And that is why we have included and considered it for your listening and speaking skills. That is what I have prepared for you.